Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. He's so confused, I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe he was always alone. Maybe Ben is made up. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. I do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Quick mist is thicker than the Scots Dragoon. It smells almost as bad. I see fine. Wait. That's, that's better. And a little terrifying. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. I raise for now the veil of shadows. I can. I can't do it no more. 
On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. So was Jacob lying to hide the murder? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. Feel something close. Blow a shot on a short stick. The hell? The lad's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Poor, desperate, starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Yeah. 
Watch out. Spec to position. They're vexed now. I'm right here, you know. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift some time, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. But you did try to leave, didn't you? You packed up and left. Do you not remember reaching the cliff top? Cliff top makes a fine lookout. Game comes to the water to drink. You can pick him off if in your aim be good enough. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell, Mr. McCray, sir. Farewell. Yes, still disgusting. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. The right words of power, our ghost will be encouraged to come. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. A Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost, in mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? 
I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. What does he need that he may let go? He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? I'm sorry. Despair can drive a good man to a bad place. God only visits hardship upon us because he knows we can bear it. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous, mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed, we got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Oh, there's dear Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Day after day, you walk hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real! You're a monster! Benedict lingers. End his suffering. Face the truth. I failed him. 
I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first, and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill to be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Benedict Stoughton, you were betrayed, failed and defiled. You were bound to a world to which you no longer belong. You have no reason to stay. You are not welcomed, neither do you wish to be here. I did not want this. It was him or me. A curse on Jacob for what he did. Curse this damn fog too. Curse this forest. Curse it all. It's over, Jacob. Ben's gone for good. Thank you. I... Thank you. It's over. The tie will sustain me a little longer. Jacob, would you mind if I rest inside a while? Suit yourself. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good.
killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. How do you feel? I feel trapped. Locked into an embrace with a nightmare. I crave. I crave essence. With it, I'd not so fast decay. With it, I'd not so quickly become one of those stupid bloody specters. I should have blamed Jacob. He certainly deserved it. What if we change our minds? What then? Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Are 
Are you all right? Never better. Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. We've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, as far as I can see. in length. The right words of power may force the nearby spectres to show themselves. Show your shape in flesh! This one, all right. Knock you, hey. Get back up. Almost there. 
Incoming. Stop her, bastard. This bike's not easily moved. I'm right here, you know. I feel something close. What do you see? Anything useful? There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Here. That's high. Trust me. <clears throat> yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time.
that right side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, Banisher, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. A bone walker. gonna make this easy for me. Signs of life ahead.
They never learn, do they? Make it yield. Make a run for it! This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Pleased to meet you, Daniel. So, what can a poor farmer do for a man like you? I was wondering, what brought you to the New World? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. McCraith. I'm behind on me chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye, well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Hmm. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hake. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. 
New Eden town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bother. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays, while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <laughs> She'd say, about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. I've 
slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean-to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go. There. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. The Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's finish here first. Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. What kind of forge has no tools? These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but. This stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's finish here first. There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's finish here first. Damn it! <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I don't want to start. Well, ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the Banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. Year round. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? 
Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord, is my fortune in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, it is true. But Thick Skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What think you of Thick Skin Newsmith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Let's trade, Mrs. Eden. All right. Let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with.
This house here, look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Who oh, there inside? Anyone home? It's empty. Three oaks, it says. Could be where our household was gone. If they have, they've forgotten their map. Someone left in a hurry. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well. She also seems to be out of her mind. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? I want to know where she learned to write so well. I have a feeling about the bed. Should we take a glimpse at the past? Svat Aster Himi. That's no ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it.
a moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? safe. Uh, are, they, are they gone? I oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? 
I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe... Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. I thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was, Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. Ghostly voices stay in this place. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger to Nelly.
see the blacksmith has gone. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross.
I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's check out the trap. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. Oh, I think it does. What do you want to do? We should talk to his ghost. Something's nearby. Where is it? He come full. Sami Giri. We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McGrath. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? 
Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. Ha! She was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful, scheming, errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. This template, feeble, a weak woman, demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Mine. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. Oh, mine. He was a bastard, but not to his mother. Nelly and her fellow were haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. Warning specters. Force them to appear with the right words of power. No step from the shadows. Did we miss a few? Uh, 
Watch out. Spectre position. Think you could take on a ghost? Spectre going for a meat suit. Another insight. to hit harder than that. Something's here. Hidden. Picking up something spectral nearby. I feel something close. Uh, 
think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. <laughs> I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Hush! Someone's coming. Vanisha! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? 
I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. But it certainly was convenient. I, for once, the cards fell in my favor. Arthur Carty was dead and gone, and Fortune Heaton became a better man, if I say so myself. I mean, I did take part in the man's murder, but I tell you then that he deserved it, and I tell you the same now. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man, a repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. There is nothing for you. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. My eternal gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCraith. Thank you for giving us a chance.
something's pulsing here. Let me try something. This is unexpected. Is this house haunted by calculus? Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. Aye, I didn't much like them. As a cook, this Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. A literate Puritan cook isn't rare. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. So? I've done my rounds, as you ask. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McRae. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps the to map know which points way is west? Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods. This way. Do you hear a French woman? 
Aye. And she's taken no shine. Well, she is French. Who are there? Come no closer. Easy, madam. I mean you look. Come no closer. Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. There's a French woman doing here in New England in times of war. Hiding the fact that she's French, evidently. Numbers. We're on the right track. Let's get back up. See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Be gone. <laughs> Spectre heading for that corpse. <laughs>
I summon you now! Get back up! To me! More messages. You know I'll always love you, right? It doesn't like us snooping. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. She lied to him. He never knew the real her. Maybe he did, and that's what killed him. We should try to talk to him. What now? More stains. Keep digging. Doesn't like us snooping. Hmm. 
This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Spectral nearby. These are not threats. Watch out! Spectre possession! This isn't over yet! Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone! Ah, I brought more friends. It's on you! Made to take a wee punch on you. I have another in sight.
a safe harbor, should we need a moment's peace. <laughs>